everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sun Rainbow Wedlock. In the last episode, we went back to Mele Mele Island and explored everywhere we could now that we have the ability to surf with Lapras. Not only that, we got ourselves a bunch of water-type encounters. We got ourselves a Marini named Agaroth, we got ourselves a Barboach named Mudskipper, and we got ourselves a Wishy-Washy named Xenia. And that's pretty awesome. We got ourselves a whole bunch of water type encounters. And not only that, they all only like males, which balanced our PC out perfectly, which is awesome. And in this episode, we are going down to Route 6 now that we have the Water EMZ. And we're going to go ahead and head over to the Battle Royale, which is where we're supposed to be headed next. So I'm going to show the Water EMZ to these pseudo Wudo, and they're going to make like trees and get out. That's a reference, right? I'm, 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 I'm almost certain it's make like a tree and... Yeah, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop. Anyways, now, wait, is that why they need him, Pseudo Wudo? That's actually really cool. Um, Yeah, and this little boy is gonna go ahead and give me a Mystic Water, which raises the power of Water-type moves. We unfortunately don't have a Water-type on our team, but we do have some of the PC, as I just mentioned. Maybe it'll become of use to us at some point. So, now that we're on Route 6, I have to stake a claim here. I have to make this known now that we have just entered Route 6. That my encounter for Route 6 is going to be an Island Scan Pokemon. I've decided that Route 6 will be where I get my Island Scan Pokemon for Akala Island. So, per my rules, I get one Island Scan Pokemon per island. And, when I make claim that I am getting that Pokemon, no matter what I run into, my encounter will be the Island Scan Pokemon. So I don't have to continuously scan QR codes over and over and over again. I think that's dumb. I'm going to make them guaranteed, since I only get one per each island. And my encounter is going to be the Island Scan Pokemon for Route 6. Which, when I do my little scan here, you guys will get to see what we are going to get. Let's hit it. Ahala Island's being scanned, and on Route 6, there is a rare Pokemon named Gothita. I have 60 minutes to find it, and that's going to be my encounter. So it's not going to take anywhere near 60 minutes. We're here. I've got Eris up front, I believe. And there is one thing that I want to do. I want to go ahead and give Eris an item. So you might be like, why are you giving Eris an item? That's silly. I'm just going to go ahead and give the um, an Orenberry. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it'll help. But I want to do that because I really want to know what ability this Gothita is going to have. It can either have Frisk or Competitive. And Competitive is insane. I want Competitive so bad. And I'll know right away if it has it. Because by having an item on Eris, it'll tell me. If it has Frisk. So, my encounter for Akala... I not Akala Island. My encounter for Route 6 and my Island Scan Pokemon for Akala Island is going... I don't want to get that battle. Alright, my encounter for Route 6 and my Island Scan Pokemon for Akala is... Agathita! Alright! Alright, come on. Competitive. Please, 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 please. Yeah, it has competitive! Alright! That's amazing! We've got to get this thing locked down. These things are so amazing. I love Gothitelle. And I think it'll be an amazing addition to the team one day. Having competitive. That's so lucky. Alright, I got to strike this thing immediately. Hopefully we get lucky. Hit this thing with a nest ball. Yes. All right, yeah, we got Gothita in one ball. Thank you for not struggling. All right, Gothita has been caught. Oh, this is going to be so good. The reason it's not getting registered to the Pokedex, obviously, is because it's not a part of the regional decks here, because it's an island scan Pokemon. So I don't get to read the Pokedex entry, unfortunately. But as you guys know, my naming theme for this playthrough is NPCs and Monsters from the online game RuneScape. I'm going to check my list, find a name for this Gothita, and I'll be right back. Boom! Alright guys, I've got a really, really cool sounding name for this Gothita. So there are a lot of really cool sounding girl names for a really cool Gothitelle on my list. However, I kind of narrowed it down and out of the three that I really liked, only one of them is a wizard. And a wizard is really fitting for Gothitelle because it's a psychic type. It does magic type things, you know what I mean? So... The name that I'm going to be giving the Scathita is after a wizard from RuneScape. She is a runecrafting wizard, and she runs, or is a part of, the Great Orb Project. It's an old minigame that nobody really plays because it's so old. And it's just a really cool name. I like it. 
So the name I'm giving this Gothita is Acantha. We have Wizard Acantha, the Gothita. I love the way that sounds. I think it's really cool. So let's check out Acantha's preference. Will she be unique or will she be one of the plain opposites that we have been getting in our past? So Acantha's nature is serious, which means she likes males only. So it's not quite opposites, but she does like males only. And since it's a girl, it's pretty much the same thing as opposites. But she does have competitive. How good can you get? Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. We have a competitive Gothita named Acantha. All right. Sounds pretty awesome. I definitely like that encounter for our island scan. And there's not too much else on Route 6 that's any good. You can get Oricorio here. But since we already have one, it's really just an empty route full of nothing. Full of nothing. That's why I chose to get Gothita. All right, let's send her to the PC. So that's mainly the reason I chose to get Gothita. I really wanted to get um, Luxio later on. But Luxio's route has more cool things than here. This is a very empty route. There's nothing here that I want. Meaning, it's just not really anything that I wanted to get. Luxio is really cool. I would love to use a Luxray and Alola. I think it'd be pretty neat. I'm not a fan of those types of electric Pokemon that you get at the beginning of the game, as many of you know. But Luxray is pretty cool. And I think it'd be interesting to use one in Alola, if nothing else. But because you can get Stuffle and Wimpod on that route and things like that, it's just not really something that I wanted to get. So, Gothita is the one I chose. So, let's go ahead and mark it. Make sure it likes males. And leave it in the PC. Alright, so it's got a neutral nature too, which is pretty sweet. So, it's not like it's lowering its special attack. I would have been pretty upset about that one. I'd love to know what hidden power it has. I'd check it right now, but I don't really feel like pulling it out of the PC. We'll do that if we use it, which is definitely possible, because Gothitelle's a really good Pokemon, and having a strong Psychic type is definitely something that's really worth getting, which is why I wanted to get it. Another reason, anyways. So I'm going to leave Eris up front. Ah, uh, no, actually, I'm going to leave Bob and Vieldi up front. Bob and Vieldi haven't done too much, and they're all level 22. Every other pair has a Pokemon that's level 23, so let's go ahead and put Bob and Vieldi up front. So on um, the Wishy Washy episode, I noticed that a lot of people are big fans of Vieldi. Vieldi's definitely the fan favorite of the team, and that makes me really happy to see. Vieldi's my favorite, too, probably. Yeah, Vieldi, Vieldi's definitely my favorite on the team. And it's depressing, because Vieldi's lifespan can could be considered to be very short, because Vieldi does not evolve until after we get to the fourth island. That's, well, after we beat the third island. We're not actually on the fourth island. It's, like, right after we beat Nanu. Which is ridiculous. We're going to have a little Litwick until then, if he makes it that far. And it really depresses me, because I'd really like to get him to make it to the end. And I know a lot of people love him. And it's going to end up being my downfall. I'm going to disappoint a lot of people, probably. And it scares me, because I don't want that to happen. I really like VLD. So, hopefully that doesn't happen. I'd like to see him make it really far, but obviously, only time will tell. And especially him being paired up with Bob, that could really be his downfall one day. But right now, he's only fighting a Magby. We can take a Magby down. What? Faint attack. That would have been the worst way ever to lose him. Like, right after I said, oh, we can take a Magby down. And then faint attack. We're switching out. So I know they don't have Pursuit. We can just switch out to Bobby. Bobby the cat. Bob. Bab. We're going to switch to Bab. All right, come on out, Bab. You can do this. You're not weak to dark. Luckily. Because then it'd be really bad. Can you imagine if they were both weak to dark? One day, Bob will resist dark. Which will actually be really handy. If... For some reason, they're still together at the end of the game. Unlikely, but, you know, it's definitely something that could happen. I've seen crazier things happen in a wedlock before. So, who knows? And he has a young goose. Young goose. Um, they have pursuit. I'm not going to let VLD fight. I'm just going to go ahead and let Bob do it. I know young goose is scary. Well, not scary, but pursuit is. So, I'm just going to fire fang this thing into oblivion. Take it on out of here, Bob. Bam! And that young goose is done. I don't know why I'm weird, but... Well, I know why I'm weird. I mean, I don't know why... I'm weird. I don't know. I don't know why I'm weird in videos. He's like, but I know. I know why I'm weird. But I don't know why I'm weird in videos. Well, yeah, I do. let's be real. I, but I like to say Bob, like Bab, like Bab, Bab the cat. You know, it's it's entertaining, don't you think, guys? No. Oh yeah, we can change Ori Corio to the psychic type coming up. Actually, not that it's gonna matter, but it would have. Yeah, it would have more weaknesses. It's, it would be dumb to do that. Like I would like to, but. Just because it's cool, but it would be weak to Ghost Dark when it's not. Which sounds kind of dumb, and Electric's not weak to anything. So, it would just be silly. 
Electric doesn't make it weak to anything, right? I'm almost certain. Yeah, um, yeah, it makes it also not weak to Electric. So it just gains too many weaknesses. The Electric is the best form. So it's just kind of stupid to do that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use Super Potion on VLD and on Bop. Bap! And we're going to go ahead and take the item that I gave Eris for Frisk because I want it to have Acrobatics powered up. So I don't want it to have an Orenberry. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, what is VLD holding? An Expert Belt. I want to move that to Bella Mord. Um, yeah, Bella Mord can have that. Actually, that's silly. Bella Mord doesn't need that. I can take it from Bella Mord. Oh, it's got, I'm gonna do some item changing here. Bella Mord can have the Silk Scarf, I guess, because it can power up Fake Out, and I mean, Felcrash had the Silk Scarf for some time, so that's kind of cute, I guess. Person Berry, that's useless. I'm gonna take that off of Calphite and give Calphite the Silver Powder. And I'm gonna give... Um, Malcolm and Ornberry is fine. Eris and Bob have nothing. BLD needs the Citrus Berry. Yeah, let's give him the Citrus Berry. Alright, so we got our items to change around a little bit. Hopefully that Citrus Berry doesn't get wasted too soon. BLD is so dangerous to lead with because anything can have Pursuit. Wait, that guy has a pseudo Udo. Oh, that would be bad news. Can you guys say bad news with me? Bad news. Bad news. Or... As I like to say, bad news. Get it? Bad news? I'm almost certain he has a pseudo Wudo. Somebody around here does, so I'm going to fight him with these two. I don't even know who I put up front. I think it was Bellamord. I'm a breeder. I raise and breed Pokemans. Pokemans are my life. That's why I have a pseudo Wudo, and I was going to take your Pokemans' life. Yeah, breeder William. Holy crap, he does have a pseudo Wudo. I dodged an absolute bullet oh my god holy crap that could oh my god level 17 bob and vld would have been done for even though bob has a grass type hidden power it would not have mattered pseudo udo has rock throw and it would have completely wiped the floor with them that's scary oh my god oh yeah we flinched it twice bella mort bella mort see you later pseudo udo bella mort's too good for you one in 1600 bella mort as if i do say so myself all right, nice job. Yeah, he lost. See you later, Breeder Boy. Breeder William, if that's even your real name. Maybe he just goes by w w William. William. Here, there's a hidden TM up here. If you come in this way, you can squeeze over here and then squeeze under this thingy. Wait, there's not a thing to squeeze under? I could have swore there was. Doesn't matter. There's this TM. We can go ahead and grab ourselves TM88 Sleep Talk, which could come in handy later down the line if we get a Pokemon that uses rest a lot. Doubtful, but I mean, if you picked up a Munchlax somehow, that's not too bad. Oh, okay, let's see what my encounter would have been. I thought I had to repel up. My encounter for Route 6 could have been. Not the Rattata, so that's fine. See, there's not really anything here. It's just not anything that I would have bothered with, personally. Like, that, I just feel like Gothita was the best bet, 100%. And that's also why leading with Vialdi is not a good idea, because, like, I probably wouldn't have been able to run away from that little Rattata. Rattata. I hate when people say Rattata. It's it's irritating. It's like what the old people say. Like when you show your parents the game and they're like, what's that, a Rattata? I'm like, no, it's Rattata. It's like, mmm, it's one of those things, you know? It's not Rattata. Like, I'm sure they've said it in the anime at some point, which means it's canon, but no, it's not. So let's talk to this guy. Well, this girl. Well, this Mudsdale. Murr! Murr! No, I hate Mudsdale. It's irritating. You there, trainer. Can you come to my aid? Come over here. Oh, I have to fight Team Skull? I don't even remember this, personally. You! You're that Num Skull trainer from Melee Melee, yo! I don't even know. Like, Team Skull's fun to voice, but, like... But then, like, somebody else talks, and it, like, throws off your mojo. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hapu's all like... These scoundrels are Pokemon thieves! Like, I'm never gonna do voices. Like, except, like, the weird voices, because those are fun. But, like, a girl voice? Don't even think about it. Well, yeah, I know them! Yeah, I'm on familiar terms. He's like, yeah, that's right you do! <laughs> this girl's like, I'm happy. No, I'm not doing this. Th no. Huh, I leave that one to you. <laughs> We're not thieves, yo! It's legitimate business, yo! <laughs> this is... It's hard for me to do. Like, I know it entertains somebody. This is why I do it. But it's like... It's cringeworthy. But it's fun! So here we go! We got a Team Skull Grunt! I'm gonna go ahead and name him Jeffrey! Who knows? Maybe that's his real name. Maybe somebody that created this grunt was like, I would name him Jeffrey if he had a name. Who knows? Oh, Bellamore's still up front. Well, this guy's done. Expert belt bite. 
Drowsy's about to take a lifetime worth of nap, if you know what I'm saying. Goodbye! There's no reason to fake out. It's just done. See you later! Yeah. Alright, cool. That's Drowsy done. Drowsy would have been a pretty cool encounter. I think you can get it on Route 3 or whatever where I got um, Malcolm, um, I think. Maybe that's the Salter Sun Moon. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know why you couldn't get it in this game if, like, grunts have it, so... Maybe. Anyways, they're getting on out of here. Their tears taste like salt. I don't understand. I mean, what do tears taste like? Like, are they salty? Maybe. Maybe they're salty even when they're not actually salty, you know what I mean? Like, if that was the case, like, being salty would be a legitimate thing. Not just a saying. If you catch my drift. Loon. Oh! <laughs> come on, come on, it's good because there was a drift loon on the screen. Basically. You know what I'm saying. I was trying to make a meme about the Mudsdale when I said that, but like, you know. She wants us to go to the Battle Royale. I'm just going to stop talking about what I was saying because it wasn't going anywhere good for anybody involved. So yeah, that was done. So there's more trainers. Uh, okay. I don't want to fight them with Bellamore. Bellamore's done enough. Let's do that with Bobby the Cat. Why? Oh, no. I have to lead with Vialdi. This is my reasoning. Vialdi's not going to get any experience if I don't switch train him, basically. Like, if he can fight something, I will. What does this say? Trainer tips! Traveling towards... Traveling together? I'm dyslexic. Traveling towards... It says towards below the together. Traveling together makes your Pokemon grow friendlier towards you. Some Pokemon even evolve when they grow friendly enough. Like me as her cue! Hey. Guess who? <laughs> That's... Don't ever do that. I think you need to train your Pokemon. That's what I'm doing. That's what I just said about Vieli. Like, he needs to switch train because otherwise he's not giving any love. Brittany. Leave Brittany alone! <laughs> she has a Cubone. Oh. That's not good. Even though it's just a Cubone, saying just a Cubone is still really bad. Cubone can deal some damage. I'm, I would Will-O-Wisp, but the chances of me missing could put me in a bat weight. Uh-oh. I have to burn it. But will I outspeed? I have to go. I have to. Bone Club. Okay, we burned it. Oh, God. If it uses Bone Club, I am in really bad shape. Oh, God. It has Bone Club. Okay. Burning it just saved Vialdi's life. And Bob's life. Holy crap. If I didn't burn it, that could have been really bad. Bob, you got to come in. Vialdi, I need you to get back. You did an amazing job. Come on out, Bob. This is serious right now. If it crits with Bone Club, it'll bypass the burn. <laughs> oh, God, it's so scary. <laughs> okay. I know it's just a Q-Bone, but my whole pair is weak to it. We have to get rid of it. This is why I taught Hidden Power Grass. Hit it, Bob! Yeah! All right! I love that. Oh, Hidden Power Grass is going to come in big plays with these two. We've got to have something, and luckily we do. All right, cool. That could have gotten bad. Like, I think Bone Club could have straight up knocked VLD out if Will-O-Wisp didn't hit. So, that was a lot more pressing th than it looked. Like, that could have been really bad. So, we're going to go ahead and grab a rare candy. That's actually awesome. We've got quite a few rare candies. Um, I know that'll come in handy with um, Cal Fight one day. But, for right now, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to continue to leave Vialdi and Bob up front. I don't really see anybody having anything that could be a problem. Other than that Cubone. I hadn't predicted that at all. But maybe somebody up ahead has an Oricorio. And if that's the case, I can find a way to fight it. So, there's got to be an item over here. Yep, a Carbos. That's some money. I don't really use those, but I sell them because they're worth quite a bit. Um, the repel's off. We don't need it anymore. Let's see. I know oh, we wouldn't need it to go that way. But th yeah, this girl has an Oricorio. Every dancer like this has an Oricorio. So we're good. My prediction was correct. Alola, Alola, welcome trainer. I, I go with the music. You know, you got to go with the flow. The music is the power. You know? Dancing power. Like this Oricorio and dancer. Micah. Micah? I don't know how to pronounce that. Maika. 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 I don't know. She has a psychic Oricorio, which is great for Bob. Oh, not Bob. Great for Vialdi, because Vialdi is ghost type, but wait, he does not have any ghost type attacks. I forgot about that. I worry, because like acrobatics, but I can always switch because I know they don't get pursued. I'm just going to flame burst and see what it does. Peck! Peck! Wait, it doesn't have acrobatics, right? It, it, that's a TM. Okay, we're good. Fl 
flame burst that Oricorio. You never do enough to knock it out in two hits, do you, VLD? Yeah, I know you're trying. Oh, air cutter's bad, but crits. Okay, that's fine. If that was a crit, I would have stayed because I know it couldn't kill me with a crit. Nice job, VLD! All right, I didn't think you'd do it in two hits. Nice work, bud. He's pulling away. Everybody loves him. He's just this little candle guy with big dreams, big hopes. You know, he's got a long way to go, but I mean, I've done it twice before with a Pokemon that's just like him. I can do it again, and I'm going to make sure that I do. Like, I'm going to try everything that I can to make sure he makes it to a Chandelure one day. But, you know, a lot of things can happen. I'm never certain. Nothing's ever guaranteed. So, we'll just hope for the best with him, you know? Him being paired with Bob is a big handicap. But, and him being weak to Pursuit is also a big handicap, because I can't guaranteed switch out of everything. There's no guarantees, so... That's all the trainers for Route 6. I know it's not too much. Let's head over to the Battle Royale. I think that's this place, right? What's it called? Royale Avenue, maybe? Is it? Is it Royale Avenue? Is it? Tell me! You're killing me! Look, it's a Machamp. Almost the coolest name in the world. One stage too late, if you know what I'm saying. What is this place? Tell me! Royal Avenue! Okay. Cool. So, first thing I want to do is go to the Pokemon Center. See what they got for sale in here. I don't think there's any TMs, but there might be something that's interesting. Um... Oh, I thought that Machoke was, like, talking to me. Like, oh, hello. I... Wait, not Machoke. Uh, Machamp. You can try to hammer opponents with the strong attacks from Pokemon with high attacks that bow. Then what about Pokemon that use Protect to avoid your attacks? That's why I don't talk to children. They're stupid. No one beats the deals at the Thrifty Mega Mart. Do they? Like, you can get, like, infinite Pokeballs for free or whatever. Or infinite Premier Balls, I think. Unless they patch that one day. I don't know. Do you focus on honing your Pokemon's strong points when training? I guess. Lady. <laughs> oh, it's a TM shop! Oh, these are cool. Ooh, Sunny Day. Oh, Rain Dance. That might not be too bad of a strategy. But how could I get $50,000 by then? Is it possible? Like, if I sold um, the poke, the uh, infinite Premier Ball thing, but that sounds kind of cheaty, if you ask me. But I could do it. I'm not going to do anything that any regular player wouldn't be able to do. Like, that's, like, cheating to me. Buying Rain Dance for the totem. Which I'm pretty scared for, I'm not going to lie. Bialdi has Flash Fire, but I know they have Poison type attacks, and Bialdi's just not strong enough to be able to do it. I know I'm thinking ahead, but what's Flash Fire do exactly? Oh, it only powers up my fire type moves. Wait. Yeah, so it wouldn't really be anything. Flame Burst would be good, but like I can't burn them because they're fire types. It just isn't a good idea. His defense is way too low to deal with a Slazzle, so. I'm definitely scared for that totem because every other pair has somebody weak to fire. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. And then we can take on the Battle Royale. So this is something that's really interesting. I know some people don't count things like this. I know the Pokemon World Tournament, I don't count normally if Pokemon dies in there. Because I've never had it happen. Because it's so unlikely to happen. Because it's so easy. Because your Pokemon are normally really high level. But in the Battle Royale, if one of my Pokemon dies in there, it is dead. So I want everybody to keep that in mind. Um, one thing that's really cool now that, we're, that we're here. I can grab the Zygarde Core. That's not what I was talking about. But what's really cool is I can talk to this kid on the bench. And they'll be like, we won the Battle Royale, me and my Slowpoke. No, I'm just kidding. That's not what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Where is it? Can't you get Nectar? I'm almost certain you could get Nectar here. Like, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to do it. But, like, you know. Like, if I could get the Psychic-type move, it'd be great for Slazzle. But I can't. Not until, like, level 40. So, I guess I'm not getting any Nectar. Maybe it only grows in the daytime. I mean, that'd be silly, but, like, it makes sense. I talked to her already, didn't I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Attention span. Um, yeah, what does this girl say? Captain Mallow is an amazing cook. Lovely. I don't really care about Captain Mallow, personally. She's kind of interesting, I guess. There's an item over here. I know what it is. It's a rare candy. Don't ask me how I know that. I just know that. All right, uh, this is a Malasalda shop. Malasalda! Juicy Malasalda shop. What's this guy say? He's sleeping at the restaurant. Don't do that, kids. It's not safe. Uh, see my pseudo It's got a nax lax nature, so it likes sour malasalda. Soto! <laughs> Why am I doing this? I normally don't talk to people, so, like, if you don't like this in videos, don't, don't worry. Like, I normally don't, like, 
spend this much time talking to people. I just was intrigued. Trainer tips! I, see, I don't do this. <laughs> evolution cancel. Who needs to know that? I already know all about that in the evolution cancels. I mean, I want some items, like, personally. So, battle royale strategy, right? Uh, oh, there's an item up here. I know that. What is it? Something good? It's a super potion, isn't it? Ultra Ball. Oh, that's actually not bad. I could use that for my encounter. Okay. One last guy to talk to. What do you say? There are Pokemon that love to eat so-called garbage that humans throw away. It really proves that the thing's value depends on where you stand, doesn't it? It's an interesting thought, because um, I was watching um, Pawn Stars. I really love that show. And, um, like, Rick Harrison was like, he's interested in this George Washington crap. <laughs> And, like, it's crap to me, but he loves it. You know, like, that's his thing. It's, like, something he's, uh, like, a nerd about and loves to collect it. And I'm, like, he probably thinks my Pokemon and the things I like are stupid. And it's, like, everybody is unique. And it's something you should never really knock what people like. If they like it, that's awesome. Let them like it. If you ever knock it, you're a horrible person. And you should really evaluate your life. But other than that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's nice that everybody can have their own thing. So I'm actually going to do the Battle Royale with Bella Mord. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, because there's a rock type in it. And there is... Rowlet. Rufflet. Dartrix. Not Rufflet, you know what I mean. Um, but the reason for that is, if you're gonna do this in a wedlock, and one of your Pokemon dies, and you're going to count it, I highly recommend teaching that Pokemon Protect. Winning the Battle Royale does not have an effect on anything. Just making it out alive matters. So by stalling your turn... Somebody else will win, and then it's done. You don't have to worry about it. It's a very easy way to ensure nothing stupid happens during your Battle Royale stay. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm And also, I'm going to give... No, I'm not going to give him an Ornberry. I was going to, but it's not really that big of a deal. Let's go here. Let's do the Battle Royale and get it over with. So, Gladian's up there. We're going to get to see him in action once again. But I'm not really concerned that anybody is able to do anything to Bellamore. Also, Bellamore will outspeed everything. So, um, if I have to make a quick play, Bell and Mort will be fine. So, here we are in the Battle Royale. I know there's some items that people can give you in here. I don't know if I'll talk to everybody, but maybe I'll look around. I know somebody have pointed out if there's a good item. But here's this guy. He's the Masked Royal. He is insane. He's the most powerful man in the world. He is the most comfortable man in the world. Nobody will get that reference. Well, maybe one of you, if you're from Ohio and you live in this area. I know one of you does, but, you know, maybe you've seen that commercial. It's amazing. It's my favorite commercial, by the way. But, Royal? What's the battle? Royal, I'd ask. Four trainers! Yeah, this is Kakui. If you haven't been able to tell, you might want to also reevaluate your life just a little bit. It's clearly Kakui. Oh my god, I just realized his hat, his mask, is four types. It's got the fire type, the electric type. The, water, the grass type and the water type on it. The front's the fire, the little lightning bolt's the electric, the blue is the water, and then there's a leaf symbol on the grass part. I never noticed that. If you guys never noticed that, point that out to me as well. That seems pretty interesting to me, honestly. But anyways, this is the Battle Royal. And it's underway. So I hope you change your party around because it starts right away. So, four trainers, like Kakui said. We're in the Battle Royal Dome, the arena for the Battle Royals. The dome is packed and filled with excitement, yeah! And there's four trainers. Here come the contenders. All right. In the Tyranitar corner, Dionysus sends out Bella Mord. In the Haxorus corner, Hal sends out Dartrix. I couldn't tell what that thing was. In the Charizard corner, the Masked Royale sends out Rockruff. And over there in the Gyarados corner, Gladian sends out Type No. <laughs> I couldn't see what it was. Battle begin! All right, see, I'm just hyping this up because, like, I have to do it and it's boring. So I got to make it as good as I can, right? So, yeah, we got a Rockruff, a Dartrix, Type Null, and Bellamorn. It's really laggy. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to fake out Type Null. Who's most capable of dealing insane damage to me? I'm going to fake out Type Null. So that's going to stop Type Null from attacking this turn. Really, maybe they'll gang up on Type Null. Rock Throw, Dartrix, beautiful. That's super effective against Dartrix, and Dartrix uses Razor Leaf, which is going to hit Rockruff and me and Type Null. No big deal. So then I can protect. Doesn't matter if I win. I don't really care if I win. You don't get anything for winning. I just want to make sure nothing happens to Bellamore. It'd be pretty silly if they all ganged up on me and I lost somehow. I'd be really disappointed. So we're going to protect. 
Rockruff's I'm also going to use Protect. It's not one of the Pokemon that has the same strategy as us. Type Null's going to go ahead and tackle me, protecting myself, and Dartrix is going to raise relief, and it's only going to hit Type Null. So it's going to do a lot more damage to Type Null. Then I can have Speed, Bite Type Null, and then the match will be over, hopefully. That's the plan. Let's go ahead and Bite, and I'll still win that way. So let's go ahead and Bite Type Null. The first Pokemon to faint is when the fight's over. So let's go ahead and Bite. Type Null, maybe it'll be done. Nah, not quite. Type Null's going to tackle me, which scares me a little bit. Didn't do too much. Did I? Did it hit? Did Rock Rock go, go for me? I wasn't able to tell, but if it did, that would have been bad. Dartrix is going to take out Rock Rock with a crit, and that's the battle royale done. So we're good. The match is over, and nothing happened to us, which is what I wanted to see. So the Master Royale, the most amazing man in the world, lost. <laughs> it's funny, right? Yeah. And they don't really comment on that, so it's just over. They're just trying to show it to me. And then here comes this guy, which is pretty sweet. The name's Kiawe, the Fire Captain. You can get to Whale of Volcano Park from Route 7. I'll be waiting on the peak. If you plan to see your island challenge through to the end, climb to the top with your strongest team. So yeah, that's our next trial, Captain. He's where we're headed to next. We are going to go see Kiawe, and I'm really scared because I don't have a good option for him on my team. My fire pair is probably the best bet, and it's scary because they don't really have anything good for him either, so... I'm definitely concerned. This could be a really big wipe. I did lose two Pokemon to that um, totem in my original playthrough. Well, not my original playthrough, my original wedlock. So, it could get bad. I'm pretty scared about it, but hopefully everything will be fine. So, you know, we'll see. Let's talk to this guy. He says, Pokemon taking damage from someone else's attack. Try to deal the finishing blow. Yeah, the finishing blow wins. Somebody over here gives me an item, I'm certain. Yeah, look at this person. Oh, so that's where you get the effort ribbons. Yeah, okay, so I don't really care about any of that. Let's just leave the Battle Royale and get out of this weirdo place. And then we can go over to that Thrifty Mega Mart, because I know there's some good stuff over there. Um, did it heal Bellamord? Um, I'm almost certain it did. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, I'm going to leave Bellamord up front, actually, because our encounter for the upcoming area could be really bad. I, um, some Pokemon have Dragon Rage, and I might end up bailing just because it's not worth it. So, we'll, we'll get into that when we get our encounter. I'm not too sure if I'll get it this episode or not. I don't see why not. Um, what does this girl have to say? You can see the QR for... Yeah, I don't care about that. Alright, there's a Pokemon. Oh, there's an item back here. You really can't get Tauros back there. That's irritating. What's the poke? What's the item? What is it? An HP up. It's pretty decent. I, I use HP ups, but I sell the other items. And I, and I use PP ups as well, but... You know, anybody else should as well. Yeah, drive safe, guys. You can get a sense for Pokemon's nature, well, person's nature, the way they throw their Pokeballs. Really. So if I talk to this Hypno outside of the Mart, and then go inside of the Mart, you can actually do something pretty interesting. Um, they're going to give me a coup coupon, which is only used at their store. Might as well use it while you're here. You grabbed the discount coupon eagerly. I don't really care about shopping. I know a lot of people do. Nobody in here really does anything. But if you talk to this Hypno and donate some money to him, I'm going to give him $1,000. I don't know if you have to. I just always give him a thousand. It's a real person. It's not just. A, it's not actually a hypno. Wowzers! You really giving me this? Yeah. So he's gonna give me something for doing that because I was so kind. And he's gonna give me TM44 rest, which is a really good pickup, especially if you did get that sleep talk TM we got earlier in the episode. It's just awesome to have. It could become really handy in some strategies if you do it down the line. So there's some interesting shops here. I don't exactly know what everybody has, so I'm just gonna go over it really quick. I want to get in and out. As fast as possible. Yeah, I don't care about any of these items. Do I have to talk to her from the front? No, I don't. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, so we have some Pokeballs here. Uh, I don't want to buy from this guy, I don't think. Uh, I want to buy a couple Nest Balls, because I'm almost out. Yeah, $1,000 off? That ain't bad. Uh, I'll do two Timer Balls as well, then. Wow, that's a, that's really good. I'm going to buy... I already have some heal balls. I already have some great balls as well. All right, I don't need anything else then. So I'll show you that little trick I was talking about. So if I talk to this guy, I think this is what it does. Um, No, he, you come to him when you're the strongest trainer in the game. All right, so now if we talk to this girl and buy 10 Pokeballs. So watch, it costs me 2,000 Poke Dollars to buy 10 Pokeballs. So with the discount coupon, I get a Premier Ball and they give me $1,000. So then if I sell back... The 10 Pokeballs that I just purchased. I'm just showing this off. I'm not going to abuse it. Where are they? They'd be in here. So if I sell off the 10 Pokeballs that I just bought, I get $1,000. So I got the 1000 from the discount coupon. 
I sell the 10 Pokeballs back. I get my 1000 bucks. So I got my money that I spent, and I got a free Premier Ball. You can do this for unlimited amount of Premier Balls. I am going to get some this way, just because I like Premier Balls. So that's 10. And then I buy I'm going to do this a couple times, just so I have some Premier Balls. It's just, why not, right? Premier Balls aren't overpowered or anything. I'm, just, I'm not going to do it for, like, unlimited Pokeballs, basically. That would be kind of stupid. So I'm going to do it five times. And then sell 50 Pokeballs off. It's just an interesting trick that you can do if none of you guys knew about this. It's pretty sweet. I'll do it one more time. So I'll sell off 60 Pokeballs this way. I'll get all my money back. And we've got like 7 Premier Balls now, which is pretty sweet. So let's go into our back. Sell off 60 Pokeballs. And we have the same amount of Pokeballs we had. And now we have 7 Premier Balls. So we already had one. So like, And, that, and we have 10. Well, we got six. And we had one. I don't know where number 10 came from. So we're done. We can leave here. I don't think there's any other items in here. And the discount coupon's done, I think. But I think you get one every time you come in the store. So don't worry about that. So that is the Thrifty Mega Mart done. And that's everything you can do really at Ra Ra Royal Avenue. I think we're done here. What's this girl say? She's talking about her Z-ring. I don't really care what she thinks of her Z-ring personally. Yeah, so here we are on Route 7. So, on Route 7, you get encounters out in the water. I'm not going to do that this episode. I'll do that in the next episode, probably. But I do want to go to the volcano. I don't know what I can get here. I'm just going to go for my encounter. I don't. I didn't really plan this out. Um, I don't think there's anything interesting I can get somewhere else. But I do know that if I run into a Salandit, I might run. Just so you guys know. Because it can get really sketchy. But I'll talk about it if that happens. So, my encounter for the... Wayla Volcano Park is going to be. I don't actually know what I can get. We'll see. A Salandit. So we did get a Salandit. I didn't allow this in my original Moon Wedlock because I used one in my first playthrough of Moon, well, of Pokemon Sun, and I didn't actually want to um, use the same Pokemon that I had used in my original team. So my encounter is going to be a male Salandit. Obviously, that's not what I want. They can get really sketchy because they get Dragon Rage. That's a, it's it's unbelievable at this point in the game. I'm going to fake out. If it lives, I'll try to catch it. It did. Okay. And I'm going to protect. The reason I'm going to do this is because it might call for help. And if it calls for a female, then it's usable. Other than that, it's a waste. So it's going to call for help. If it calls for a female, beautiful. I'm not going to risk Bellamord's life going for a female. It's just not worth my time. Risking Bellamord's life would be unbelievably stupid, but I am going to try because I know it can't kill me. It's going for Sweet Scent right now. If it gets sketchy, I can run away. That's why I led with Bellamord. So it's going to call for help again. Um, hopefully it's a female. Oh, uh, there's one. Is it a female? It's a male. Um, okay. So, um, I'm going to bite the one on the left then. And hopefully we knock it out in one hit. Because if they both use Dragon Rage, then Bellamore's dead. Okay, so we know we can kill him in one hit. So we're not scared, basically. So here's Dragon Rage. This is why it's a problem. It does 40 damage every turn. Not worth risking. But luckily, it didn't call for help again. I'm going to use a healing item here. This is my first healing item for the fight for these two. I'm going to heal Bellamore. I don't want to risk this. This can get really out of hand quickly. I'm just trying it. If it gets bad, I'll just catch the male and we'll move on. I'll probably never use it, but I still want to catch it. I'm not going to knock it off just because it's a male. That's stupid. Every Pokemon has a chance. So, it's not calling for help. That's fine, though, because I can protect. Because the last move that I had used is Bite. I'm going to protect. I'm giving it a try. Obviously, I have to go for a female because otherwise the males are pretty useless. But I'll give it a try if I have to get a male. So, they're really rare to get a female. Hopefully, I get lucky. There's another one. Is it female? It is, actually. Okay, um... I'm gonna bite the one on the right, then. Okay, this could be good. Let's take that slanted out here. And if the one on the left doesn't use Dragon Rage, it's beautiful. But if it does, I might not get it. Alright, it used Ember. If it knocks me down to lo below 40, I'm not gonna catch it. Okay, it's good. Now we have to go for the best. I'm gonna throw an Ultra Ball, and hopefully we get it right now. I can't try to weaken it. I have to get lucky, and if not, I'll have to run away. Alright, we didn't get it. Um, Now here comes Dragon Rage. If it doesn't call for help, we can still get this thing. Be and if it doesn't, if it uses Dragon Rage again, I'll have to leave. There's nothing I can do. I can switch to Cal Fight and try again, but 
Other than, well, and then that was just, no, I can't, because Calphite's not going to be able to run away. All right, I'm going to use Healing Item number two of the fight. I'm going to use a Super Motion on Bellamore. If it uses Dragon Rage, I will have to run away. There's no point in trying. Okay, Smog's also bad, because if it poisons me, it could knock me below 40. All right, it didn't. Mmm. I They have such low defense. Swift to kill it, I think. Um... Actually, what I'm going to do is protect. Okay, so by doing that, it's stalling the turns, meaning I can use a timer ball. And timer balls are going to give me much better chance of catching this thing. So now what I'm going to do is switch to Cal Fight. I don't think they get Pursuit. Yep, I'm going to switch to Cal Fight. So by doing this and then switching back into Bellamord... Then I can protect again, and then I can go for a timer ball. Because I don't think it's going to call for help at full health. If it does, no, I can't risk it. Because if it does and it calls something in, then I'm in trouble. So I'm just going to throw a Pokeball and hope for the best. I don't know how many turns it's been. But we're going to go for a timer ball. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see if we get it. Nope. Oh, that's fine. I can't go for Protect again, because um, I the last move I used is Protect, meaning I have a very low chance of actually succeeding. I'm fine. All right, let's go for another one. All right, we did get it. Okay, that's cool. All right, our encounter for the Whale of Volcano Park is Salandit, and we did catch a female. So it's usable. That's really good news. I was afraid we weren't going to get one that would have been any good. But we luckily did. There's Slandit done. All right. That's pretty cool to see. I'm happy with a Slandit. It's been a while since I used mine. So I'm not too bad about using another one. If we need another fire type for whatever reason, we've got one in Slandit. All right. Let's register it to the Pokedex. All right. Slandit is... The Toxic Lizard Pokemon. It burns its bodily fluids to create a poisonous gas. When its enemies become disoriented from inhaling the gas, it attacks them. So, I'm going to check my naming theme for my list for a name for my naming theme. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got a name for this Slandit. I, I don't have any names for a lizard that I can think of. I'm, I know there are some lizards in RuneScape, but I can't think of any names that would be good for this thing. But I did think of a really cool female name. That just sounds really cool. There's really not too much else to it. But there's a boss in RuneScape called the Twin Furies. And they are two sisters that fight as one. And this is one of the sisters' names. So, the name I'm giving the Salandit is... Nymora. We have Nymora, the Salandit. Which I think is a pretty sweet sounding name. So I think it's pretty, pretty awesome. So, let's check Nymora's preference. Let's see what nature Nymora has. She has a lax nature, which makes her an ace. Very strategic and interesting. These Pokemon are really, really frail. So, by being able to switch into it from anything, could build some really good strategic things that we could do later down the line. And it could be paired up with my Mankey. So, I mean, that wouldn't be a good pair. But, you know... It's there if we need her. So we have an Ace Salandit. Named Nymora. Alright. Awesome. Let's send her to the PC. So, this episode has been pretty long, I'm guessing. Um, there's not too... What else, What my other encounter have been? Well, why not? Let's do this. Let's see what else I could have gotten. I know I can find Fletchling and Cubone here. Cubone would have been really cool. And I can get Kangaskhan by SOSing Cubone. Which is what I did in my original um, Moon Wedlock. I had a Kangaskhan. I wanted Cubone, but Kangaskhan got called in and I was going to lose my Pokemon if I didn't catch Kangaskhan. So, that's how that happened. I was really upset about it. But I did actually use that Kangaskhan in my original Moon Wedlock for quite some time. It was one of the Gambler's partners. So, and its name was MasterCard. Just back talking about how weird that naming theme was, right? MasterCard, the Kangaskhan. I made up some thing about how... You know, it's like you slide a card in its pouch. I know. I had to come up with something. Otherwise, people were like, why'd you name your Kangaskhan MasterCard? But it was a part of that naming theme I talked about in the last episode. So, anyways, guys. 
I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Wedlocks like Pokemon Sun, feel free to subscribe. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and... Wait, do Pokemon have to be... Do Aces have to be paired up male and female, or can any be paired up? I actually haven't checked that out. I know they don't like anything, but Aces can be paired up like friends, so maybe any of them can be paired. And in that case, Spinda and Slandit wouldn't be too bad of a pair. Something to keep in mind. Anyways, guys, if you do want to see more Pokemon Wedlocks like Pokemon Sun, feel free to subscribe, and I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to go in the Whale of Volcano Park and Route 7. We're going to explore them all, and then maybe, just maybe, we'll take on the third trial of the game versus Totem Salazzle. I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but hopefully we can come up with something. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.